All suffering comes from one, one thing, one erroneous concept, and that is the belief inherent in every that I am separate from the rest of the universe. I am. completely separate. Maybe not completely, but fundamentally. Because, yeah, okay, I understand on, on a level that I have ancestors and that I was born, born of my parents and I share blood relation with a few select humans. And with a little more thoughtfulness, Okay, the food that comes into this body, I know it's been, I know it comes from the earth. And therefore, on some deep level, I'm connected to the earth. And then with a little more thoughtfulness, how many, how many people brought that food to my table? The farmers, the drivers, the people at the marketplace. And that's helpful to follow those, those ways of thinking. But what I'm talking about is the fundamental, is still that fundamental feeling of being a separate entity. And it's not about cultivating other beliefs, new beliefs. So it's not about taking on another belief. But it's to observe, to remain aware and question, is it true? Am I really separate? Who is really separate? It sounds so radical to the way, to the way of the world, to everything in our culture. It sounds so radical. Wait, you want me to question who I am? That's all I know for sure. Is it though? Some of the teachings say, we could only know, one can only know who one is by knowing what one isn't. The path of negation. Like, am I really this body? The body being the main thing we identify with. This organism is who I am. So therefore it has an age. Am I really the number 35? Am I the essence of what I am, really male? This height, this weight, this reflection in the mirror. Is that what I am? Is that, was the, is that what constitutes the entirety of my being? And then the mind, I have this education, I have this life experience, I have these emotional tendencies.
these are all things you could tick off the list. Relatively, sure, they might be, they might be true, but fundamentally, I think they all go in the, I am not this category, I am not that. What am I then? I mean, who wants to get to the, the crux of the, of the question? Who wants to take it that far? If you're content to just have what the world is offering you, then you're probably not tuning into this kind of these kind of videos anyway. But if you want to ask the big questions, if you're starting to feel fed up with the way the way things are going in the collective or in your personal life. Then these questions are the way out. And they're not going to give you new answers, probably. It's not about answering the questions. It's about being in the mystery. I remember that from that documentary, What the Bleep Do We Know? 2003 or something it came out and one of the kind of geeky scientists <laughs> uh, the one who is like making the most jokes he said the important thing is this not to be in the know but to be in the mystery I think that was my favorite my favorite quote The mind doesn't like the mystery. The mind wants to know. The mind wants to be able to, to formulate and, what do you call that, compare and contrast and quantify and qualify. But there's none of that happening here. Because the, the heart is a place of knowing with a capital K. capital N, capital W, I mean, <laughs> capital O, capital W. The whole thing is capitalized, yo. It's not the kind of knowledge for a mind. The mind is lowercase for life, which is okay. Lowercase letters have their place just to keep going with the analogy that just happened. <sighs> but in the land of the heart, it's all caps. It's all exclamation points. The crazy thing is, the beautiful thing is, the language is silence. 